So what I want to do in this video is show you how to do a simple equilibrium ca uh, calculation that we did in the acid-base equilibrium video with a computer program called Visual Mintech. Visual Mintech is pretty neat, um, one, because it's very powerful, and two, because it is free. So um, it is a nice way uh, for you to go through some problems um, and, uh, you know, maybe you're actually using it to uh, do some different calculations or you might be using it to check your calculations. So again, this is um, for the problem that I did in the acid-base equilibrium video where we took uh, the partial pressure of um, CO2 in the atmosphere that we calculated from 410 ppm, which is about the current concentration, um, and then uh, calculated the, uh, the carbonate, bicarbonate, and carbonic acid concentrations um, that would be in equilibrium with that uh, CO2 concentration. So here I've opened up Visual Mintech. Uh, this is a very powerful software, and I am going to just show you kind of the very basics of what you can do in this, uh, in this software. So first I wanna start with a tour. Um, so you can do all of your inputs on this, on this first screen. So here you can calculate um, your pH for mass balance, or you can fix it. Same with ionic strength. You can also select components. So what you would do is you would go through whatever system you wanted to analyze and then add all of the components in that system. So they've got a list of components. If you want organic components, you would check this, and those organic components, like for example acetate, will be added to the list. Then you would put a total concentration here, um, and add it to list. Uh, you can view or edit your list. Um, I don't have anything in my list because I haven't put anything in there. Um, and that's what you would you would do. You can choose different concentration units that you might want to work in. Um, for the sake of this, I'll work in molal. And um, you can also set the temperature. There are many other um, things that you can do with it. You can look at solid phases. You can look at adsorption. Um, adsorption isotherms. Um, you can also look at gases, redox reactions, and you can do multi um, problems or sweeps where you change one variable and look at the effects. Um, you can also change the database. So if something you want to look into is not in the database, some chemical, uh, you can add that chemical uh, to the database. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to start with the problem that we did um, in the acid-base equilibrium video, where we took the um, the concentration of uh, CO2 in the atmosphere, and then eventually came to calculating the um, the total inorganic carbon of our sample. So, in order to do that, um, in that example, I had fixed the pH. So I'll fix that pH, um, and I fixed it at six. Um, you could say maybe that's the pH you measured of the sample. And then I'm going to go up here to gases that I'm going to specify. So for gases, um, this Visual Mintech is very good if you have a gas phase um, that's kind of like infinite and it's in equilibrium with water. Um, it does that quite well. So here I'm going to specify a fixed uh, CO2 partial pressure. Um, I calculated that in the video. Um, I imagine that the average atmospheric CO2 concentration has gone up um, since this version of Visual Mintech uh, came out. But um, as of 2019, it was about 0 0.00041. Um, and then I will add that to our system. And so if you're like, ah, oh, did it really add it? Go ahead and go to list of components. And, um, and I go ahead and I, and I see, um, a, uh, hydrogen or protons and, and carbonate there. Okay, jokes. So, so that's that. Um, and that's, I mean, that's really all we have to do for this whole problem. That's the kind of the beauty of, of using these computer softwares, right? Is um, you don't, they'll do all of the math for you. And what Visual Mintech does is it uses, it calculates equilibrium. Um, so what I, I will do is I will go to run 
uh, Mintech down here. Um, and I get a little error um, that says it's going to add some chloride uh, to my problem so that it can run. And then I'll look here and I can see um, all of this information. So in that last video, the 20 minute long video, um, we had, um, you know, we went through how to do all of these calculations, but what you can see is we can get the exact same thing from this program in like uh, two seconds. So our, our pH is set at six. It's calculated the ionic strength of the solution. Um, and it's calculated our, um, let's start with uh, H2CO3. Again, it's got this star as 1.39, which is, I'm going to go back and check, um, exactly what we got in our equilibrium calculation doing Henry's Law. Uh, then in that last video, video we calculated um, the bicarbonate HCO3 minus concentration. Uh, Visual Mintech got 6.2 times 10 to the negative 6, and that's exactly what we got. Uh, and we also calculated the CO3 2 minus concentration. Um, and we got 2.9 times 10 to the negative 10, and that is also what um, Visual Mintech did. Um, and so, I mean, this is very cool. Um, I would recommend uh, if you are a student that you do learn how to do all of these calculations by hand because you will need to be able to do them by hand. However, um, you can use Visual Mintech um, as a way to double check um, your calculations. And then if you are, a, you know, a practicing engineer um, or, you know, geologist or whatever, and you need to look or figure out some uh, equilibrium speciation, this is an incredibly powerful program that you can use uh, and it's free. Um, so I highly recommend it.